Okay, tonight in the Channel 2 News Gets Results Department, one consumer is getting a bad engine replaced free in a used car due to Randy Ripplinger's reports on car repairs this week. I'm impressed. How did you swing this well, one? Well, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't do it. Oh, you know, come on. Well, we did air the report, you know, Helped. about uh, these folks who bought this used car I down on Southeast 82nd. Yes. And it wasn't any good. It didn't even make it back to their Vancouver home. So now a group of used car dealers got together and they've decided to fix it for free. You may remember Larry and Joyce O'Shea, who had purchased a well, Datsun. Well, got down by Union and Grand and it died at the light. The engine was dead and the dealer refused to take the car back. But the O'Sheas had signed an as-is statement when they bought the car. Even so, they were still dubious about dealing with an 82nd Avenue car dealer again. We were definitely against almost every car dealer around. We figured never again we'll buy through a private party or we won't buy at all. But now all that has changed. The O'Sheas are getting a new engine installed in their dead Datsun for free. Sites Towing volunteered a free ride for the car back to Portland, where the old engine was removed and a rebuilt engine was dropped in its place, all for free. The engineer of the goodwill move was Bill Wilson of Brady Wilson Motors. It's safe to say that probably 99% of them are pretty good dealers. We want, you know, the public to know that the dealers on 82nd, we're trying to give the, you know, good value for their transportation dollar, and mostly we're selling a quality automobile. The Brady Wilson lot isn't alone in the effort. Five others pitched in. Griffin's Used Cars, Portland Motor Company, Specialty Motors, The Price is Right, and Peggy's Classic Cars. It isn't the sort of thing they do in every instance, but the dealers wanted to show there are good used car salesmen. It made me look a little bit brighter on the other side of used car lots. Let's put it this way. Not all used car lots are not good people, okay? You know, most of them are fairly good, I guess. And we have, uh, uh, I should say, also the Shays have got a new car engine, and the Southeast 82nd Avenue dealers have shown that there are some good auto dealers. Now, we hope that you've learned some importance from checking out any used car, also with the previous owner, your mechanic, and maybe even both. Uh, of course, uh, there's a lot of other things to do when you go around to buy a used car. So you know, does trouble. this work both ways? Like, if, if I went and traded in my mm. old car to a dealer and they got a lemon, not to say mine's a lemon. A <laughs> I mean, don't they get ripped off occasionally? Sure, sure. You take your used car in. Are you going to tell him this is wrong and that's wrong with it? You're going to say, no, what do you give me for the car? So the dealer's got a legitimate gripe. And quite often, they'll catch it when they try and service it, but then he's either stuck paying it or he's got to pass the problem on to the next guy. So it is a two-way street. Yeah, this has been interesting. With my car, however, it would be obvious what was wrong with it. But thanks, <laughs> well, Randy. Take care of it. <laughs>